This is the 2024 Brewtubers Online Brewers Club Beer Experiment, Fruited American Wheat. Thanks to our sponsors. Five Star Chemicals. Check out the interactive cleaning guides and learn more about their newest product, Liquid PBW, on their official website, www.5starchemicals.com. Beer and Wine Hobby Homebrew Supply Store. Beer and Wine has one of the biggest yeast selections around and boasts an extensive list of homebrew beer kits to make clones of some of your favorite beers. Check them out at www.beer-wine.com and tell them BrewTuber sent you in the order comment box. Let's get sipping. Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. This is Kurt from Fermentation Adventures coming back and doing another, um, a let's say a third attempt to record a fruit experiment, strawberry fruit experiment video. Um, this time I'll put up the recipe card as an overlay, probably up here, maybe because there's all this junk up here. Um, but uh, I'll show the recipe and basically the whole point of this experiment within the club is to brew a wheat beer and we all will add strawberry flavoring or fruit or puree at different ways at different times. We've all cho chosen a different way and um, taste them and record our thoughts. So Kicking it off, getting back in the swing of things after much, much uh, technical issues um, is I'm going to, getting back in the swing of things. All right, so if I get back into the swing of tasting here, um, I am going to be tasting uh, tonight. Hope you can see it here. Um, Gam Dudes Brewing, Gam Dudes. Uh, offering here uh, again same experiment but his variable he used 30 ounces of frozen whole strawberries at cold crash that was held at 38 degrees for three days and then kegged uh, this was brewed on May 26th it was kegged on June 9th and he uh, his original gravity was 1053 final gravity was 1012 with a ABV of 5.4 and a 21 IBU. Very similar numbers to uh, what I had. Oh, and I see down here as well. He's, his was canned on 7724. Uh, his numbers are very similar in the ABV and the IBUs. His OG and FG uh, slightly, both were slightly above where mine was. But uh, again, it should be a fairly similar beer. I could feel the can, a nice tight carb. I have taken it out of the fridge. It's been out of the fridge for probably about um, a half hour. Um, some of the other tastings I've done, I've figured, I found, I've reviewed the video, put, put the bottle aside, the can aside uh, for a little bit and came back and uh, really changed my assessment based on the uh, aromatics. So if you can see here, we got a good hiss, a little bit of foam right at the top. And now I'm going to be trying uh, or using a somewhat proper wheat beer glass or Pilsner glass. All right, what we got here? Well, so um, again, this has been sitting in my fridge for a while. Um, if we start right with the appearance, huge stand of foam. I didn't pour that aggressive. Again, it probably did warm up in the uh, can a little bit. Um, it's fairly clear. Uh, again, it's not brilliant clarity. There is a little bit of a haze to it, um, but, uh, but it is much clearer. Again, this is a different glass, so it is quite thin. Um, and as you could probably see here, it's a pretty, uh, a nice yellow, yellowish, deep yellow color, let's call it. Um, and again, getting lots of carbonation bubbles rolling up the side. So I'd say Billy has, uh, or Gam Dude uh, has really carved his up really nice. It's a really looking very appetizing beer. All right, let's go in for a sniff. Hmm. Okay, let me pour a little bit more in here. 
again right at the end and, and you can see here a nice huge beautiful stand of foam which you would expect for a uh a, a wheat beer i mean this looks really is looking the part you might expect it to be a bit more hazy uh, but this has been you know again sitting in my fridge for a while i will um swirl up the drags a bit later mm, okay um um my nose is not always the best certainly with certain things um i did initially get what i thought was i wouldn't say a vegetal kind of a herbal hop uh, character maybe with a bit of a um very very subtle um more of the, the the flesh of the strawberry let's say than the strawberry juice aroma um again for me uh right now i am not getting yeah i do get a little bit of that that herbal uh character uh, let's call it um which which i'm attributing to um the hops oh, okay there you go i don't know what it is maybe it's just the foam is going down and probably letting some of the aromas to come through yeah i'm getting um like i said probably a little bit of subtly uh subtle spice ester uh, from here or spice phenol and now yeah now is it as the foam goes down a little bit for me yeah i can really identify kind of the strawberry or the fruit character in there um, more than what i was thinking was a herbal hop um, so let's go for a sip Okay. Um, yeah, again, it seems a little bit dry. Um, the mouthfeel um, on the finish, which again is what we want. Hmm. Yeah, it's mouthful, mouthfeel. If your finish is really dry, the mouthfeel to me, it's probably like a, you know, moderate to medium. And there goes my glycol chiller. I'm hoping this doesn't cause too much background noise, but um, I got to fight through it. Yeah, um, yeah, again, getting a little bit of the kind of like the the doughy, bready malt through it. Um, I don't know if I'd really say I'm getting too much of the hops through this. Yeah, and I, I do get like a slight acetic character from it. So I don't know um, if this was left in the can a little bit too long or if, if that's what we expected from this. To me, or at least that's what I'm chalking it up to. To me, it seems like it's a little bit, um, it's not sour. There's a there's just probably a, a, a bit of a tartness from it, which again, is probably could be just coming from the nature of the fresh and frozen flu fruit. Yeah, again, right now, and now after I've drank a little bit, broken up the foam, coming back to the aroma. Again, I am getting a, a nice, you know, moderate, lo, moderate to low um, strawberry aroma from it. It's really quite nice. Yeah, again, and I think the acetic character um, again, I don't, don't really consider strawberries being um, like a tart fruit. Um, but, but again, I don't, I don't really, I'm not really getting a true strawberry sweetness from this. So it, it might be a little bit of the, um, and again, it's some acid or something that's coming through in the strawberry itself, because it's definitely in there. Um, yeah, that's uh, quite good. So 
So again, we hit appearance, we've hit aroma a bit, we've hit the flavor. And again, it's it really smells quite, quite, quite nice. And again, all right, it's quite good. Now, there is a bit in the can in here. Um, I am going to rouse up the dregs in the yeast to see if that affects the haze. I guess you could probably drink it either way, but let's pour it in here. And if Billy is watching this now and screaming at the, at the screen, sorry, buddy, but I'm kind of wondering if anything has fell out, you know, so see here again, a lot of foam in here. Um, I am getting some of, I'm assuming this is the yeast dregs, um, that settled out in the can. Again, the aroma hasn't really changed that much. Yeah, and again, um, I like it a lot better with the yeast dregs in there. It seemed to add like a softness and, and, um, kind of a somewhat more complex flavor or complex strawberry back into the uh, into the beer um, again if you were drinking again the reason why I put the dregs in here and roused it up poured it in is if you were drinking this fresh this is you know what it was like when it was canned more or less um, I can look in the kind of look in the bottom of the can here I can't really see anything else in here yeah again I think um, you know, I've been kind of somewhat watching some of the other guys' videos. I haven't seen folks do this. I've seen some review the beer saying they, the beer came out quite clear. Um, a lot of this is what it's, what it's from. This is something I'd probably do if this was an IPA. I'd be doing the same thing. If this was an IPA, I'd rouse it up and try to get any of the hop oils or anything that might have settled out. Um, trying to peek down into the can here. Um, yeah, just more and more foam. Um, yeah, there's not, it doesn't look like there's much or anything in there right now. Yeah. Yeah. The strawberry right now with, with the pouring the dregs in and probably as it warms up even more, it's quite nice. It's quite nice. But there, you know, again, there is a tart character that's kind of carried through here a little bit. Um, we were just away on a weekend and we were drinking a lot of, uh, sour beers, um, that, you know, fruited sour beers. Uh, mixed firm beers that um, maybe that's what's kind of pushing me off here. Not saying this is the same character, um, it, exactly the same character or character, but it's kind of in the same, not even the same ballpark, but probably the same, uh, um, you know, in the same city. There, I'm. It's bringing back some of those memories a little bit. But again, you know, it's it's a good and dang tasty beer um yeah i think that's it um so if i rank this you know between his and mine um that's pretty much what i've done so we won't talk about ranking it right now so I just meet yammer on Yeah, again, I think I'm just confusing the, the, the fruit character tartness with some of the, um, the flavors I was, I was, that are somewhat fresh in my mind from, you know, what we're drinking this weekend. Yeah, see, that's much better. As the beer continues to warm up, some of the, um, getting some more of the, uh, um, carbonation out of here, even though wheat beers are highly carbonated, the mouthfeel is just so much creamier and smoother. Um, again, the media, the mouthfeel is still somewhat medium. Um, the fruit kind of sings in it. The doughiness really comes forward. So again, have another can of this that in case this video screwed up, I'm going to have, I can review again, but, um, in my mind, uh, that's the way to go with this, this beer is to really make sure the yeast is in with the, is in with the glass as well. Um, great job, Billy. Um, great job, Gam Dude.
Um, really enjoyed this one. Really appreciate you being in the experiment and letting me try it. Um, forgot to mention up top, thanks to Nick for our little intro video. Um, opening up for me, being my opener, um, making me feel like I'm somewhat of a main event in my own video. Um, really appreciate it. Thanks to, to our sponsors. Billy was smart enough to put them on here. Um, Beer and Wine Hobby and Five Star Chemicals. Thank you for sponsoring this. And the shout outs were at the beginning of the video. Um, again, this is Kurt, Fermentation Adventures. Uh, like, subscribe, um, ring the bell so you get all the notifications. Uh, follow me on Instagram for the bulk of my output. And um, I will uh, catch you all in the next one. Thanks. Thank you.